Ibrim chapter 11, and the belief is the substance of what is expected, the proof of what is not seen. For by this, the elders obtain witness. By belief, we understand that the ages were prepared by the word of Yahweh, so that what is seen was not made of what is visible. By belief, Habel offered to Yahweh a greater slaughter offering than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh witnessing of his gifts, and through it having died, he still speaks. By belief, Hanuk was translated so as not to see death, and was not found because Yahweh had translated him. For before his translation, he obtained witness that he pleased Yahweh. But without belief, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to Yahweh has to believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. By belief, Noah, having been warned of what was yet unseen, having feared, prepared an ark to save his house, through which he condemned the world, it became heir of righteousness, which is according to belief. By belief, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out of the place which he was about to receive as an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. By belief, he sojourned in the land of promise as a stranger, dwelling in tents with Yishak and Yaakov, the heirs, with him of the same promise. For he was looking for the city, having foundations, whose builder and maker is Yahweh. By belief also, Sarah herself was enabled to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the normal age, because she deemed him trustworthy who had promised. And so from one, and him as good as dead, were born as numerous as the stars of the heaven, as countless as the sand which is by the seashore. In belief, all these died, not having received the promises, but seeing them from a distance, welcomed and embraced them, and confessed that they were aliens and strangers on the earth. For those who speak this way make it clear that they seek a fatherland. And yet, if they had indeed kept remembering that place from which they had come out, they would have had the chance to return. But now they long for a better place, that is a heavenly. Therefore, Yahweh is not ashamed to be called their Alahayim, for he has prepared a city for them. By belief, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Yishak, and he, who had received the promises, offered up his only brought forth son, of whom it was said, In Yishak your seed shall be called. Reckoning that Yahweh was able to raise, even from the dead, from which he received him back as a type. By belief, Yishak blessed Yaakov and Esau concerning that which was to come. By belief, Yaakov, when he was dying, blessed each of his sons of Yosef and did reverence on the top of his staff. By belief, Yosef, when he was dying, made mention of the outgoing of the children of Israel and gave orders concerning his bones. By belief, Moshe, having been born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a comely child and were not afraid of the sovereign's command. By belief, Moshe, having become great, refused to be called the son of the daughter of Pharaoh, choosing rather to be afflicted with the people of Yahweh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a time, deeming the reproach of Messiah greater riches than the treasures in Mitzrayim, but he was looking to the reward. By belief, he left Mitzrayim, not fearing the wrath of the sovereign, for he was steadfast in seeing him who is invisible. By belief, he performed the Pesach and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By belief, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land. And when the Mitzrites tried it, they were drowned. By belief, the walls of Jericho fell, having been surrounded for seven days. By belief, Rahab the whore did not perish with those who did not believe, having received the spies with peace. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to relate of Gidon and Barak and Shimshon and Yiptah, also of Dawid and Shemuel and the prophets, who through belief 
overcame reigns, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became mighty in battle, put foreign armies to flight. Women received back their dead by resurrection, and others were tortured, not accepting release to obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of mockings and floggings and more, of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were tried, they were sawn in two, they were slain with the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, being in need, afflicted, mistreated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering in deserts and mountains and caves and holes of the earth, and having obtained witness through the belief, all these did not receive the promise. Yahweh having provided what is better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us.